Making your own no added sugar chocolate at home is easy and really tasty. If you're on a low carb keto diet or just counting those calories, then this is the recipe for you. He's got budget meals for families, delicious new recipes. Bring your friends over, let's make it and share. It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So to get started, into a bowl, add melted unsalted butter along with full cream milk powder. Now this is going to give us that creamy chocolate texture and this amount isn't enough to kick you out of ketosis if you're following keto. Whisk it all together until it starts to clump. Next add the cacao powder which is lower in sugar than cocoa and in my opinion has a richer chocolate flavour. Whisk in the cacao until it starts to clump with the butter and milk powder. Finally, add in the powdered sugar substitute. Today, I'm using erythritol, which you can find in the stores really easily. Again, mix this in really well, and this is where everything will start to come together. At first, you think you need more butter, but the more you work the powdered sugar substitute, the looser the mixture will become. Now, you'll notice it's quite lumpy at this stage, and that's normal, but we don't want lumpy chocolate. So what I do to get it smoother is blitz it with a stick blender for about five minutes. It will become much smoother and easier to work with. I place the chocolate mix into molds and you can buy these online really cheap. And they really come in handy for recipes like this. Just spoon over the mix and then use a palette knife to level the bottom off and keep the excess for another mold. Make sure you also tap the mold on the bench just to get rid of any air bubbles and to make sure the chocolate has gone into all the corners. And you can change up the molds as well. Here I'm using a snack size rather than the big block, but use exactly the same method. Place in the fridge for four to six hours to firm completely and then take out of the mold just by popping them out and I keep the chocolate in the fridge. It retains its nice snap. And when you bite into it, it will be creamy, smooth and full of chocolate without feeling gritty. Regardless of whether you're on a keto or low carb diet, Give this homemade chocolate a try because you'll love it.